Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Water Realms video. So we're back with Gear Dungeon Stage 4 and we're gonna try this up with Apex only. You can see power dominance is off. I know I've gotten quite a bit of requests to actually do Stage 6 and without Elowin or without uh, Valkyra. Those are all possible with the right heroes. If you don't have Elowin, then you just need a uh, good Rich Regen subsets. So maybe something like what I have on my green. So this is like 57.5% rate regen. And you're going to need this across all your DPS. So Valkyra, Vienna, Comet, all those heroes need to have this much rate regen for that lineup to actually work. And yeah, in my case, I don't have that good gear lying around for most of my units. Uh, that's the best one I have in terms of rage regen, and I only have Vienna as an AoE mage. So it's a bit tough to showcase all those, uh, especially if you don't have Comet. It's pretty much impossible to you know do the top wave with just a Vienna. So we're gonna showcase stage four instead, and we're gonna do it Apex only. Bear in mind that most of these units are in Sobar Arcana, an invigoration set, so you might have the exact same heroes, but you might still struggle if you don't have good enough gear. In Gear Dungeon, gear is really the thing that's holding most people. So without further ado, let's get into the run, and we'll showcase gear at the end of the video as well. So the first hero is going to go down is green, and then we're going to have Hollow down next. Paulo is gonna be taking a few hits from the boss because she's the last place you win. I'm gonna pop her ultimate immediately. You can see that she barely survived those hits. And I'm gonna do Dolores next. And then once we have enough cost, we're gonna put Oleg down. Take the attack off Paulo uh, a bit. As, uh, she does die sometimes if I don't place Oleg down in time based on my test. There we go. So the bot wave should be more or less settled. Uh, we just need to wait for the uh, waves to come in. Pop all those out. And we can see that we almost have the ultimates up on everybody as well. Based on what I've been testing so far, it always is pretty close with Grid having to land to ultimate. So now we have the bot wave more or less settled, uh, with an rage regen going on, we're going to start building up the top. So AI is going to be placed here, such that she can handle with the waves spawning here, so as the waves spawning here if we live through. And then next is going to be Lunaria and Iona. These are essential to, you know, get these waves. And we're going to despawn Oleg in a bit. Reason being that uh, we want to still deploy Aatrox and we need uh, a healer up here. So we're going to despawn Oleg, spawn Vortex last. Since Vortex is a HP based healer, uh, he's going to survive those hits from the archers in this direction. So that's done. I'm going to let the top wave auto play mostly. Bottom wave, we have to take more caution. Do this. Could be enough damage to get us. Ideally, if you have your Aeon build up even better, just for the extra magic resistance reduction. And yep, you can see the bot wave is pretty much soloed by Greed. See the icicles doing great work here. And these archers are the one that I said we need to be careful of. So that's why having Vortex here tank the hit uh, does quite well. Towards the later parts, uh, Vortex might actually die just based on how uh, hard this loot hit for. So I'm gonna place Aatrox down again. It's gonna be rinse and repeat from here. Ah, okay. Should I place Aatrox down there? Hopefully that's not an issue. Wave is pretty much settled. 
we will have Aatrox up again. Same thing. I'm gonna see Greed uh, destroying almost the entire part of the first section of the wave. And then, yeah, the top is gonna be pretty much the same thing. And watch here for a bit when the last archer spawns out. Might want to out with Vortex to take your eyes. Aatrox down again. Three. The Dolores out. Good game. That's it, yeah. Gonna pause for a bit just to make sure that we don't pay out this. Okay, yeah, this is definitely clear, but I don't want to waste my dungeon key on a stage four. Just hoping that the last three keys actually give me some good rewards. We're gonna pause here, quit the game, and take a look at the damage stats. This is more than good enough because there's only two marks. So yeah, not surprisingly, Aatrox being quite a bit here, as far as uh, Greed and Iona, so Daenerys, so yeah, I think damage wise is pretty spread out. And I think AI helped a lot with the top waves that uh, spawn out and walked out normally, because only Lunaria is caught in their range. Top guys here. So because Lunaria is targeting here, Iona is targeting here, then last uh, few sections here, be blocked by AI instead. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. And before we go off, I wanna showcase gear. Grid is in the exact same gear that I showed in the other video. And level 2 unfortunate skull. Yuna is taking I think this is my arrogance. Gear from my arrogance if I'm not wrong. And maxed out gear of Twilight. And we have a Trox with a curse. Set if I'm not wrong here. And this is with a plucked pendant. Then the hollow and the invigoration set. Mostly HP, making sure that she survived there. And then a spirit plant that's my thoughts. So for the instant ultimate. Unleashing the mystery. Daenerya with Soba Arcana. As well as a Hydra's Gaze. Dolores in gear as always. King Wisdom as an artifact. And then we have AI, Sobarkana as well, and Unfortunate Skull, just for that. More for that, you know, uh, mythic artifact use. Olek and Guardian's gear, and then a Bastion Ring, and Vortex and Invigoration, oh no. Asclepius 1, and then a Euphoric Orb level 1. So yeah, that's gear, that's the strategy. I hope this is helpful for the newer players out there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do any guides for stage 6 with other heroes because I think what I have is, you know, the best that we're going to do. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. I did make some tweaks to my audio, so hopefully it's a lot better than the past few videos since I moved to a new place. And yeah, catch you in the next one and good luck and goodbye.